Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Hezra, and now we're about reacting to something else YT called How I Got Away with Ditching Class. Now, uh, you guys been telling me to react to this, and I'm finally gonna react to it. And I feel like this is like I think one of his like most this is like one of his popular uploads. So maybe it might give me, maybe uh, might give me views, maybe it won't. Maybe um, also if you haven't seen my previous videos about me reacting to uh, Alienations, uh, why I don't use my real name. If you haven't seen that video, please go check it out. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel already, please subscribe. Also, leave a like on this video. Also, comment down below. Also, if you want to be shouted out on my next video, all you have to do is uh, subscribe to my channel, turn on a post notification, on, uh, and uh, let me know in the comments down below that you did that. I'm going to put your channel name in the comments down below pinned. And, uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. So, and then we're talking to get out of the video. Alright, welcome class. Today we're going to be talking about differences of squares. Ugh, this is not a square, it's a triangle. See this? Why does everyone look like they're enjoying it? Square. Technically, two triangles. Two cars are traveling north along a highway. That's how I feel. That's, what, that's how I feel when I'm in a class. But I don't have class because my school shut down. Pretty sure everyone's school shut down. How long after the second car leaves Willingly, the second car to catch up to the first one? Is it me? Hey, there's like gum under his seat. I need a poop! <laughs> when you're so can, desperate to- uh, can I When you're so desperate just to get out of class that you just say the first word that you, you don't even say, can I go bathroom? You just say, I need poop, can I leave? Can I go to the restroom? Hmm, I don't know. Can you? Can you? <laughs> I Class. knew it! I hate it when teachers do that. I don't think that. there's anything- In elementary, I'm pretty sure they do that. Middle school, they don't do it anymore, but elementary, it was so annoying. On this planet, more boring than having to sit down, shut up, and do nothing but watch the whiteboard. If you asked me- So Adam, if you had to choose between going a month without internet, or having to spend the entire time in jail to watch paint dry, Go to class. What would you do? I'd pick jail paint. I don't yeah, really have the attention I'll span to just sit and listen to a teacher for hours at a time. So what I would do is, whenever I get bored and anxious, I would get up from my seat and ask to go to the bathroom. Now, don't get me wrong. Education is super importante. That's yeah, important it is. In Mexican. And I recommend it everyone pays boring. attention in class because the more knowledge you receive, the more creative you can be. So I would only do this if all the teacher was doing was talking and not actually giving us physical classwork. Mainly because like it's, it's boring. I can't learn that way. I need, I need work. So in order to get back into listening mode, I'd go to the bathroom to basically recharge my brain by either A, you know, actually going to the bathroom, or B, just like taking a breather and maybe play a game on my phone. I don't know. And it's not like we can go anywhere anyways because we had like these security guards everywhere. On the itty bitty uh, golf carts. And if you got caught by them, detention for like two days. I mean, two it's days. not much different than normal class, you know, mindlessly staring into the endless void we call the whiteboard. White <laughs> board. Bored? Bored! White! <laughs> they know what they were doing. Now, I mainly did the charging thing in only some of my classes just to be able to take a break and be able to learn properly. But there was one specific class where I couldn't do that. The boring class? boring factor was of unimaginable heights. That class was... Algebra 2. Mr. Blah Blah Blah. <laughs> Mr. Blah Blah Blah. I freaking hate math. I can do it, but I hate it. Math itself isn't yeah, too. too boring if you are actually doing physical work and learning in the process, but my teacher didn't teach us like that. His method of teaching was to write down what he writes on the whiteboard, listen to him talk, and figure it out for yourselves if you couldn't keep up with his insanely fast writing skills. So now, be yeah, able to do in seventh grade, do in seventh grade, that's exactly how it is. You know what he did? He explained on the whiteboard how to do it. He draws it, and then that's it. He gives you a worksheet and just sits on desk. Just sits on his desk. He doesn't even explain it good, too. Uh, do it. I in uh, seventh grade, I failed math that time because he was a terrible teacher, bro. I didn't know how to learn, bro. That he had like, like the most monotone voice in all of existence. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. So I got bored, and I'm pretty sure every now and then I just flat out died. Every time I had this class, the pain of just sitting and listening would kick in so hardcore that it got to the point where the last 30 minutes of class I'd ask to go to the bathroom and just wait. I'd wait for like 25 minutes and then go back and just let the teacher do their thing and assume I'm just constipated. <laughs> I want to note though that my classes were two hours long because my school did like a and b day type of thing. So the last 30 minutes, two we weren't even actually working. Class? Just a lot of Dang. sitting 
and listening. This class got so uncontrollably boring that I ended up making a habit of this. <laughs> Literally every time I had the class, I stand up. Can I use the restroom? Of course, after like two weeks of doing this, my teacher started getting suspicious. Obviously. So he would always follow up my question with his own question. What do you do, do you really there? have to go? So to uh. combat that, I look him dead in the eye and let him know. If you don't let me leave right now, the janitor is going to be writing his resignation early due to this job being, and I quote, too much. Gross. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> We're coming up on the third week of me doing one of the most generic ditches in all of history, and Mr. Blah 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 is getting annoyed. He doesn't believe me that I'm using the bathroom. Like, what the not? heck, Mr. Blah Blah? How can we make this relationship work if there isn't any trust? He won't let me go. No. Adam, I'm sick and tired of you constantly leaving my class to use the restroom. You need to learn. Now sit. The only thing was that this time... I actually had to go. I don't know uh, what I ate that day, but my tummy was definitely having some rumblies. I'm not gonna lie. I'm more than positive we were gonna have a cleanup on aisle three if I didn't go. <laughs> so, sir, if you don't let me leave right now, the janitor is He's gonna, gonna be- rewriting his resignation early and you're out of here. You need to sit down right now, young man. Please, l let me go, please. I, I, this will be the last time I go, I swear. I promise. <sighs> you promise? Yes, for the love of all humanity, just let me leave. Fine. Eric, I want you to go with him and make sure he gets to the bathroom. I really had to go. I'm pretty sure yeah, if the did. teacher told me no, I would have darted out anyways and just risked the suspension. Uh, because <laughs> Jeebus. Had a good day for my insides. So as we were walking towards the bathroom, Eric asked me straight up, Yo, dude, you wait with me. You lying? I ain't no snitch. I just, I just want to know. Eric then looks into my cold, dead eye as I kick open a stall and say, Does this answer your question? Wait, what do you say? No. Straight up. Yo, dude, you wait with me. You lying? I ain't no snitch. I just. What do you say? Eric asked me hear. straight up. Yo, dude, you wait with me. You lying? I ain't no snitch. I just, I just want to know. Eric then looks into my cold. Does he? Did he dead say? Eye. Did he say? Uh, are you going to the bathroom? Really? I don't know. Uh, Dang, did you eat a we head back to burrito, class and bro? Blah blah. Ask Eric. Oh, how was the restroom, you two? And Eric, with a horrified look on his face, said, Yo, he freaking destroyed that toilet, man. <laughs> Eric then explained that I really wasn't lying and that there might be something actually wrong with my stomach. So Mr. Blah 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 looks at me and says, I'm sorry for doubting you, Mr. Adam. If you ever need to use the restroom again, you have permission to just leave. Quietly. I was then known as the toilet Dang, destroyer by seriously? that teacher ever since. <laughs> and I so never can leave any time. clean. Mr. Blah blah blah, if you ever see this, I'm sorry, but for the rest of the school year, I just left to go play on my phone or a 3DS or whatever. <laughs> I mean, at least I still gotta be in your class. So, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's whatever. <laughs> I'm a YouTuber now. Yay! <laughs> All right, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Com Dang, that's awesome. That's your teacher gave you permission just to leave any time you want. Just like, you don't even need to say, teacher, can I go bathroom? You can just even, you can just like walk out to class. So that was the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, bye, everyone.